So dear students, I'm going to talk about credit management functions under the banner of the bank credit organizations. Bank credit organization means not that I'm talking about an office or not that I am just presenting table and chair like this. Moreover, bank credit organization means the credit management structure, the credit management system, credit management functions. So why the term is the bank credit organization? Credit organization refers to the structure of credit management, and that's why it's known as credit organization. What's the main objective of the bank? Simply, we know that the main objective of the bank is collecting deposit and lending money, but that is not true. The main objective of the bank is not only making deposit and making loans. Moreover, the main objective of the bank is to minimize risk in collection them. Why? Because bank's profitability depends on how successfully a bank is utilizing its deposits. And what is the way of proper utilizing deposits? And that is making loans. And the success of making loans depend on minimizing the risk. And that's why it says that the main objective of a bank is not only collecting deposit, is not only making loans, but to minimize risk in collection debt. Now, when a bank is trying to minimize risk in collecting debt, what are the problems bank may face? One problem is loans of poor quality. Nowadays, you can observe the crises available in the financial sector. We have so many banks, and lots of banks are facing problem related to collection of debt. And so many business community, so many firms, so many uh, uh, companies, uh, so many people, they have taken loan from the bank at the din return on time. And some of them never paid repaid the loan amount it's not only because of the person it's because of the bank too why because bank did not evaluate properly the documents the policies the procedures the terms the conditions related to the debt and that's why they have sanctioned loans known as poor quality loan. So now you can elaborate this. When there are many poor quality loans in a bank, it will create some other troubles. What kind of troubles? It will create liquidity problems. What is known as insufficient liquidity, shortage of cash. It may create another types of trouble, unexpected interest rate movements for facing competition. The bank has to adjust their interest rates frequently. And that should not be a good policy. A bank cannot change their interest rate frequently. There must have a minimum time period, but when there is high competition, and also poor quality loans exist. Bank has problem of insufficient liquidity. So to overcome this kind of problem, banks need to change their interest rate frequently. From this discussion, we can identify some credit management functions. You see, 
What are the functions? Number one, credit management has to minimize risk in collection credit. Credit management helps to reduce number of poor quality loans. Credit management helps to face the problem of insufficient liquidity. And it helps to take a stable interest rate policy. We will continue our discussion. If we move to the next, then we will find some more functions of credit management under the bank credit organization. When bank goes for lending, two fundamental products related to lending are money and information. Lending depends on money and information. If bank holds a lot of money, but sanction loan without proper information, without collecting proper information, this lending will not be successful. Or bank has lots of information, but they don't have enough liquidity. So you say that that's why uh, we say two fundamental products of banking are money and information. So now using money and information or proper right use of money and information depends on what kind of credit management system available in the bank. And now if the bank has proper credit management system that will help bank to create loan management packages. So you see that another credit management function is to create loan management packages, loan management systems. For what? That maximize bank chances of getting the money back. So from this discussion, also we can identify some credit management function is proper uses of money, proper uses of information, creating loan management packages, creating loan management systems that will support banks to maximize chances of getting the money back. Credit management system also helps to grow, to grow in the economy. Credit management system helps a bank to play its role to the development of economy, to the growth of society through providing financial supports, timely supports to the manufacturers, farmers, industrialists, builders, and individuals. More elaboration, more discussion related to credit management under the bank credit organization. Another term that you have in front of you, loan losses. Now you need to understand the difference between poor quality loans and loan losses. Poor quality loans means you didn't collect proper information. You have sanctioned the loan to the wrong person, to the wrong companies, to the wrong factories, to the wrong businesses. Loan losses means even if you didn't do any mistake at the time of sanctioning loans, still you may face loan losses because of lacking of right monitoring system, a right controlling system. And that's why we need to consider both. Now you can develop another function of credit management. That is credit management system, credit management structure, or a very good bank credit organization helps a bank to minimize loan losses. Now, relationship between loan risk and losses. We can divide borrowers of a bank into two categories. 
low risk borrowers and high risk borrowers. In an economy where less competition, less number of financial institutions, uh, equi equitable number of financial institutions or required number of financial institutions, you will find less competition among banks, among financial institutions. So when there is less competition, banks, other financial institutions, uh, financial institutions that are involved in lending, they don't face competition a lot, and then they can choose the right borrowers. Means they can justify old documents, loan proposals, securities, whatever they need, they can collect all information, they can evaluate, they can justify, and then they can decide whether the borrower can have loan or not. If there are huge number of banks, lots of banks, lots of financial institutions, leasing companies, insurance companies, finance companies, even some NGOs are also lending. So huge competition. Under huge competition, that is really difficult for financial institution to select only low risk borrowers because they need to do business. And since they need to do business, they are bound to shift from large and stable corporate borrowers who are known as low risk borrowers to less stable borrowers, to high risk borrowers, to small enterprises, to medium enterprises. And this way, there is always a possibility of growing poor quality loan. Loan risk and losses, still we are continuing. Since you are going to be a credit manager, you are going to be a, a analyst, you are starting credit management course. When you will face Viva interview, uh, you can mention that you have started credit management course. Then they may ask you some tricky strategic questions. They may ask you identify some falls in lending procedure. So you can claim that, yes, you know lending procedure. You can identify faults related to lending procedure. The terms that we have already discussed, one is poor quality loan, and another one is loan losses. If you see both terminologies, then you will find it's because of some faults. Faults in lending procedure, especially poor quality loans are the outcomes of faults in lending procedure. So there are many faults, but all are not important. But some faults are really important that should be rightly noted, that should be rightly identified. Among those faults, we have some faults in front of us. So we are trying to discuss these faults in lending procedure. The first one is in attention to loan policies. Each and every bank has loan policies. But officers, managers, sometimes they are not attentive to follow loan policies. So they violate loan policies. Sometimes they didn't provide proper attention to loan policies. And then what will happen? Just think, in attention to loan policies will create good results or bad results? Good outcomes or bad outcomes? The second one, sometimes, our officers, managers, bankers, directors are 
too much generous, too much kind. And this way, they follow generous loan terms. And even that don't follow all standard related to loan policies. And it's happening in Bangladesh. If you read newspapers regularly, you will find same scenario. The points are here. It, it's the common. It's available to everywhere because of generous loan terms. The terms means condition short to. It, it's, it's so generous. And even they are not following clear standards. So obviously loan losses will arise. Even many cases, bankers, they disregard of banks own policies. Not only loan policies, each and every bank has mission, vision, goals, objectives, strategies, sometimes that disregard those bank policies. So number four is the automatic result of the last three is unsafe concentration of credit. If you don't follow loan policies, if you don't maintain a uh, standard, if you are so generous, if you disregard banks' own policies, it means you are concentrating on unsafe credit. Even after sanctioning the loan, after approving the loan, you have to be serious. Your team must be serious about coordination, supervision, mentoring, and control. Once you sanction the loan, once your bank sanctions the loan, and that is not the final job. Now new jobs are beginning. What are the new jobs? You have to monitor, you have to control, you have to supervise the organization activities. You have to take feedback frequently, regular basis. If you just go there when they fail to pay their installment, you cannot control loan losses. So another fault is poor control over loan personnel. Loan personnel, those are involved in collecting information, evaluating information, taking loan decisions, they are known as loan personnel. And if your bank don't provide enough training to them, enough coaching to them, enough organize, enough workshop and seminars to train them and don't follow very systematic credit management structures to control over loan personnel, these faults may arise. Some small banks, not the large banks, small banks that don't have enough branches, that don't have many staff to control the market, but they are sanctioning more loan beyond the bank's ability. Then the problem will arise. It's known as loan growth beyond the bank's ability to control quality. They don't have a staff that don't have branches, that don't have facilities, that don't have resources, but loan growth beyond the bank's ability. What do you think? Can you stop loan losses? Some banks are not following proper customer relationship management. In our next chapter, the first point or second point of the course outline is customer relationship. So we will discuss more about customer relationship management there. Now it is banks are following database system, IT based customer relationship management. If you search anything in the Google, then you will find that same advertisement is available in the Facebook. It's IT based system detecting your choices, your preferences. So this way, a good bank must follow those 
systems for detecting loan problems. Once the problem is too much severe, and then if you detect already, the borrower left the country, the borrower already passing wonderful life in Canada, you can do, what can you do? You can do, you, you can take measures. It's because poor systems for detecting loan problems. So your bank must have manual, digital, or IT-based system that will provide signal at the right time. Otherwise, that is another form of poor systems for detecting loan problems. Sometimes we don't understand properly the borrower's cash needs. Someone is looking for Taka five lakhs, we are giving them two lakhs. So uh, uh, an entrepreneur wants to start a business of five lakhs, and if bank sanction only two lakhs, the entrepreneur can do nothing. So he or she will utilize the money for other purposes. Or someone is looking for Taka one crore, he needs Taka one crore, and bank sanction 10 crore, too much. Then he or she will become mad. He or she will try to divert the money for other purposes. And if fail, they will be unable to return the money. This is called lack of understanding of borrower's cash needs. So credit management team, credit management system should be developed in a way that your system can understand or evaluate properly the needs of the borrowers. Sanctioning lower amount or sanctioning excess amount, both are dangerous. Out of market lending. Now the time for pharmaceuticals. This is not the right time for starting the student business. What do you think? Is it right time to start the student business? What do you think? COVID time. I'm looking for your response. Is it the right time? No, sir. No. Sir. no. So, yes, sir. So, so, so you see that out of market lending, if now banks lend lots of money to the restaurant owners, what do you think? Is it a good investment? No, sir. Bad investment. No. So it's out of market. Why? The, the market is for pharmaceuticals. The market is for agro-based goods and commodities products. So the market is for export-oriented uh, 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 garments. So why you are lending money to those who are operating out of market? So these are the brilliant points. Yes, you can identify more problems, more faults. Yes, you can, it's possible because there are many problems available in the Google, in the text, but these nine very latest, recent and really related to Bangladesh. But remember, what should be the right credit management structure? What should be the right credit organization? What should be the right credit management system? It depends on bank size and type of business too. Obviously, you will find difference between a small bank and large bank. Small bank may perform all of the detailed work associated with making a loan. In a large banks, individuals, officers are specialized in consulting and negotiating with customers. And that case is problem may arise. Small bank, some cases, the small bank can exercise good management style. Large banks, lots of stuff, thousands and thousands of uh, officers are working. Though they are specialized, but it's really difficult to maintain proper standard or to establish proper credit management. 